So anyways, <clears throat> I got a serious question for you. Okay. I just had the displeasure of listening to a country music song only because I didn't have the gumption to get out of bed and grab the remote and turn it off. So I laid there and I allowed it to continue. And see, country music to one's soul is a lot like gay sex to a pious. Um, it just permeates everything. I now know where in the brain country music lies. Once you allow country music into your earlobes, okay, into your ears, it goes into your brain. You know, you know that little gap between you know where the synapses are, the synap, you know, the, where, where the shit fires from one to the other. That's where country music hides, in between that. Okay. It bridges the gap between that firing from one to the other. And what happens is, when you have a thought, it has to force its way. It has to fist its way through the country music. It has to fist itself through the country music. So, like, if you want to move your finger, your brain has to go through this this toxic of country music. So any little thing that you do after, because seriously, after listening to a country song, just sort of wiggle your fingers and tell me it don't feel right. It, just tell me that, that, that something just doesn't feel right. You know what I'm talking about. You know that feeling. Now talked about this before i've got i've got family members on dlt side who listen to this shit faithfully every day now okay like, like okay like my uncle vince okay technically i guess he's not really my uncle he's basically the other man that my aunt married which would be my uncle anyway but whatever I think about that man sometimes. I really do. I think about Vince all the time for some reason. Like whenever I hear a country music song, I think of Vince. I think Uncle Vince. I do. I think of him. And I have to ask the question, how can the man continue to go on? Because country music, as a collective whole, does not put you in a place where you want to better yourself. In fact, it makes it puts you in the opposite place. It how, seriously how is it that hillbillies can listen to country music and go yeehaw and they want to go on and do something with their lives. Okay. Now I hear it, I want to find the nearest gun and blow my fucking brains out. Okay, so I, the reason I think of Uncle Vince is I, I, I think, why is the man still alive? If I were Vince about 40 years ago, I would have put a gun to my head. I would have put it like right directly in my face. I would have got a bazooka, a cannon, and just put it right in my face and blew the fuck out of my face. Okay. I don't. I don't even know what to say. I, I really, I don't have a clue. But <laughs> it makes me weep. Okay, it makes me want to weep. Okay. Uh, seriously though, how? I mean, if you're a connoisseur of country music, I don't mean you personally, but you as an impossible listener. How do you not want to blow your fucking brains out? How can you sit there and listen to country music all day? I'm not talking just one fucking song. I'm talking 
reams of CDs worth of this shit and have it play all day. Like, there are people who only listen to country music. And I don't mean, like, the funky kind of, you know, kind of country music. I'm talking that... Kind of shit. All day. That's all they listen to. That's all they let their ears ingest. Okay. How do you not want to fucking kill yourself? I mean... Dude, I, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I, I, I don't understand how people can, can, can live. They can live listening to country music. And especially if I don't get hillbillies, okay? Because you add in the country music. Now, I can understand Pepsi. I like Pepsi. And don't make you a hick if you like Pepsi. At least I hope it don't. But you follow it up with NASCAR. Oh. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> You follow that shit up with NASCAR. Now think about this. Yeehaw! Dale Jr. Don't know about being. I don't know. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? There are people who. Who. Find that entertaining. To go watch a bunch of bucko three scrawny little guys in little blue jumpsuits with 900 fucking logos all over their chest, ass, breast, neck, and head. Talking about, well, I had to make a pit stop over there and had to put on the Goodyear tires and now, 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 now. Really? 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 Okay. Just making this clip, seriously, if there was a gun, if there, if there was a gun, if I had a gun right this minute, this clip would end with a huge bang, and it would be silence for like five hours until somebody comes and shuts it off. That's how this clip would end. You know, and you probably hear a, if my head hit the, hit the fucking table. That's it. Okay. That's when I'm just, just, no, 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 no. Just making those sounds for my own vocal, you know, propagation. Um, just makes me want to fucking shoot myself in the fucking face. And I don't mean to shoot myself like in the ass or in the foot. I'm talking like in the face to make sure I'm fucking gone. Make sure I'm fucking dead. I don't understand how people can listen to that shit 24 hours a fucking day. And I have fucking family members. Family members who listen to that kind of, kind of fucking shit. And, and, and all day long. Okay, do you understand me? All day long. Not just, you know, a CD. Okay. They have this shit playing all fucking day long. And it like loud decibels. <sighs> but I mean, seriously. You, you accompany NASCAR with Pepsi and with fucking country music. I mean, that is not a weekend. Okay. That is not what I call... A good solid weekend, okay? That's called. I mean, I would rather take a sandblaster to my testicles, okay? And not just have somebody do it. I would take the sandblaster and jam it between my legs and turn that thing on. <laughs> on my testicles is what I'm saying to you. My own testicles. The family jewels. I would de nut myself. If I had to endure that shit. Okay. I have no earthly clue how anybody can survive that. But there are fucking shit-faced hillbillies. Many of which in my family, God bless them, don't get me wrong. Who sit there with smiles on their face watching NASCAR. You got a bunch of hick motherfuckers driving in a circle. And they call it a sport. Okay. Dude, it was more of a sport for me to get out of bed to make this clip than it was watching a bunch of hicks drive in a circle with Pepsi logos on their car. Okay. Now, can you tell me, can you tell me the difference between one hillbilly song and another? 
They're a lot like black people. I can't tell them apart. Okay. The only difference is maybe the lyrics. But all the lyrics are the same. They're all the same. They're all, they're all about the country and loving God and America and stuck the flagpole up my ass. Da, 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 dee, 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 dee. No, I don't want to hear about a hillbilly sticking a flagpole up his ass. Okay. Now I'm blessing the USA. Da, 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 da. No, no. God ain't gonna bless the USA playing that shit. You're playing that shit. You're making that kind of music in the USA. God does not love you. God wants to destroy you. You make that music, God will destroy us. See, that's the problem. People do stupid shit and think God is amused. And they think God loves that. You got assholes like Carl Stevens. Okay, and I've said this before. If heaven is like Carl Stevens' vision, I think I'd rather go to hell. At least, at least, bare minimum least, in hell you've got lakefront property. Okay? Okay, versus some big fat buck tooth bitch I'm on a hill with, with little khakis on and a little horn. Yodeling. If, if, dude, if there are people yodeling in heaven, I want to go to hell. Okay, that ain't a heaven I want to be in. If, if Carl Stevens' version of heaven is how heaven really is, it's a fucked up place. That's all I'm going to say on that. Okay, that's all I'm going to say on that. You understand me? There are fucking Christian people who are saying, you know, it was rock music. Petra's from the pit of hell. You know what? I would rather take something like that. Or at least I know their motivation was at least proper. They may be going about it the wrong way, but their heart was in the right place. I would rather listen to that shit than listen to all eternity. Okay? I would rather fucking blow my fucking spiritual balls off than go to a fucking place called heaven with fucking yodeling. In fucking hillbillies. God is not amused by hillbillies. Okay. God is not amused by your stupid shit. Okay. God is not amused at your stupid shit. Carl Stevens. Your idea of heaven fucking sucks. Okay. You need to realize that, son. You need to realize that. You should have realized it before you die, though. No. Eternity of that versus sandblaster to the testicles. I will take the sandblaster to the testicles. I will. I will. I cannot endure fucking country music. Because like I said, the synapses where the little firing goes from one side to the other. The little electricity. The little electricity in the brain. The country music. It just, it just like clumps into that little synapse. That little, that little space. That little get where it's just going from one to the other. That's where it hides. Okay, so anything you do, physical, anything, whether you're trying to speak, you're trying to see, you're trying to, trying to hear, whatever your brain has to do is being permeated by country music. Okay, so anything you hear after you listen to a country song is going to be fucked up. It's going to be tainted. Anything you see... From that point on, it's going to be... It's going to be all fucked up. Okay, it's a fact. Look it up. Seriously. Seriously. I, seriously. Go to Google. Type in gay sex. Type in black gay sex. Look at that. Just, just look at it. You'll see a black guy. You may not see genital or anything, but you'll see two black guys hugging each other. Now, go listen to a country song. Then go back and look at the two black guys listening to each other, and you will see it in a different light. You will see it in a different light. I'll say, well, that's, that's disgusting and disturbing. I wouldn't do that. Do it. Trust me. Type in gay fucking porn. Type in gay fucking porn. No, type in gay black porn. And I swear to God, then go play the hickest country fuck music you can find. And then go back and listen to that fucking, look at that fucking uh, gay black porn again. You will see things differently. Okay. Type in Bill Gates and then look at it. And then, then, then find a Kill Billy music. And then look at Bill Gates again. Whatever your fucking topic. Whatever. 
Type in baseball. Type in Little League. Type in... Uh, type in anything. Type in... Uh, space. Look at this picture of the fucking planets and the space and shit. And the stars. And then listen to country music. And then go back to that picture. I guarantee you, you will know what I'm talking about. You will not see things the same way again, sir. You won't. It's evil. Country music is evil. Dude, if if Christian rock is evil, country country music is, is just as evil. Okay? God did not create country music. Okay. Okay. Well, rock music is of the devil. But country music is of God. I would worship at Satan's feet. If God created country music, I mean, as in that's the way to go, I, I will denounce my faith and I will be a fucking demon worshiping asshole. Okay? I will depart from the fucking faith with joy. Okay? It is evil. Evil. E fucking bull. Okay? It's fucking evil. Oh, I'm starting to have a fucking convulsion. I'm, I'm starting to like shake and shit. I'm having like these, 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 these. Oh, it's evil, dude, dude. It is fucking evil. I don't care. Randy fucking Travis, Girth Brooks. I don't give a fuck. It's wicked. The idea that there are Christian people who actually preach from the pulpit, like Stevens, that country music is of God. Just because they, they like it. Here's a news flash for everybody who ever went to Greater Grace. Carl Stevens was a fucking retard. Okay? He may have been God's man. He may have studied for 40,000 million years. But at the end of the day, the man was a fucking idiot. Okay? He may be the greatest Bible scholar ever known to man. Okay? He may have been, still is, the greatest man of God to ever exist. But at the end of the day, he was still a fucking fool. Okay, like anybody else. Okay. That in mind, talking about country music. Country music is an abominant fucking nation. Okay. It's an abominant nation. It's a wicked, awful sin. You didn't hear that from the pulpit. No, you heard. I ain't like country music. I put it on my yellow, my my yellow hair that got tinged and it turned orange. And I like the yodel too. <sighs> it's fucking that alone should have spoke volumes to these fucking people who went to greater grace. Oh my God, the men had orange fucking hair, and nobody thought anything of it. I was 13 years old, and I'm like, what the fuck? The man's hair is fucking orange. You don't take on a spiritual leader who has orange goddamn hair. You just don't do it. Okay, and a man who's like, well, I like country music. No, motherfucker. No. No, 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 no. Seriously. All these people like on FactNet and all these other places, you're fucking morons. Okay. Uh, that I, I say that to my about my parents. I say that about my friends at the church. I say that about everybody else who worshipped Carl Stevens. The man was a fucking boob. He was a boob. Okay. Seriously, though, no, people have this stupid fucking idea. That that, that 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 their idea is what is what is it what their idea is is what their idea is in other words like somebody like carl's like you say oh pastor dear pastor doctor doctor pastor what's heaven like and he'll go on and tell you what heaven's like guess what i bet it ain't i bet it ain't like he thinks it is I bet there ain't some big old buck to fat woman up on a fucking hill with the prices right yodel. Yodel up, up, up. I'm not yodeling. Um, hold on. You know what? 
just for the sake of argument, you two. I want to see if I can get that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. That's right. There we go. There we go. This is what heaven's like. Woo! Woo! Sing it, Carl. Sing it, you fucker. Sing it, you yellow-haired fuck. Woo! Woo! Okay. No, no, no. More than enough. That's what heaven is like. That is what heaven is like. Peace, my girl, Steven. He's a fucking boob. He's a... Okay, the man's a boob. That's what heaven is like to him. And if that's how he wants his heaven to be, hey, more power to him. But if I gotta sit there for all eternity and listen to fucking the yodel lo 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 hey he who, I'm gonna yodel lo ho hey he my fucking brains out with a fucking gun. They've, there's gotta be weapons. New weapons for him against us shall prosper. Well, then I guess we're fucked. Okay. I guess heaven means that if there's fucking yodeling for eternity, that we are fucked because we can't kill ourselves again. Okay, that's what it's going to come down to. You realize this. You know when the Bible says that they will wish for death and it will not come? That's what we're talking about. Fucking Carl Stevens and yodel. Okay, you're going to be sitting with the fucking yodels. <laughs> And you're going to wish you could fucking die. You're going to sit there and say, Oh, I did wish I could blow my goddamn brains out because this place fucking sucks. And you know what's going to happen? God's going to look and say, Hey, you can wish for death, but I ain't going to happen. <laughs> I mean, at least in hell, like I said, you got lakefront property. Okay. Oh, it might be a smoldering lake of fire and fuck. But guess what? Lakefront property. Some old bitch yodeling. Carl Stevens with a big shit face grin on his head with his little hair turning orange talking about praise Jesus um even Jesus is like what the fuck okay Jesus said I go to prepare a place for you not I'm gonna fucking make the biggest shithole ass fuck place imaginable the biggest nightmare ass fuck I can think of and you're gonna live there forever sweets of golden yodeling no, no, my friend. That's not how it works. And if that is how it works, we're fucked. We are cosmically fucked. We are cosmically fucked for eternity. Do you understand that? Everybody's like, oh, heaven's going to be this magical, magical place. If there's yodeling in it, it's going to be magical for too long, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? This, for eternity. Eternity! Forever. 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 And ever. And Carl will be with his orange hair smiling. Shit face smiling and happy. With this. Forever. Praise Jesus. No. No. There's no praise Jesus with this. Jesus Christ did not die on a cross for that. He died because of that. He died because of yodeling. We did not sin. We are not sinners. We are not sinners. We are pure and wonderful. And the evil people made yodeling and country music. That is what Christ had to die for. For yodeling and country music specifically. Now, sure, I told the white lie yesterday he died for that. Yes, don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand me. I'm talking as a collective whole. This is what he died for. Because people want to love this stuff. And they are wrong. They are evil. And they are wicked. And they are going to hell. Not, not because they told the white lie. They're going to hell because they're listening to country music. No, yes, I'm being a little sarcastic, okay? And that's not how Jesus, that's not how the Bible works. I know it's not how the Bible is. I'm being sarcastic. I'm proving a point. The point is you're a walking, 
retard. You're a fucking retard. Okay. And as it basically all I'm gonna say, because I cannot take any more of this fucking topic. Okay, seriously, if I had something to like jam into my testicles, like 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 like, like jam a jam a straw up my urethra, I would. I would do it. I would jam something up my penis because it fucking is more entertaining to jam metal rods up my penis than it is to listen to country music. That's the kind of life that we are talking about here. Okay, this is what we're talking about. And I can't take it anymore. In fact, I feel ill right now. I feel sick to the point I want to vomit. Vomit! Because of country music. Okay. Now, you want country music in your in your heaven, in your, your mansion, whatever the fuck that even means. More power to you. You listen to it on the down low. Get it the fuck away from me. If I hear that shit, I'm coming in. I'm going to break your fucking record player. Okay. That's all I'm saying. If there's some bitch up on the hill who is yodeling, she's gonna get a pu- or she's gonna punch in the mouth. I'm gonna climb the hill. I'm gonna punch the bitch in the mouth. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Is she she's singing Ricola? Unless she's singing a Ricola song, I could live with that. Ricola, I could deal with that. Okay, I could deal with that. Three little faggots with the horns here. Dee, dee, dee. Singing a Ricola song, I can deal with that. Do you understand? I mean, no, no, no. You know what? I'm ending this clip. I'm ending this clip. No more, no, no more topic of this anymore. I can't deal with this. This has put me in, in such a mood that I can't even comprehend where I'm going to go next. And this is only 9.30 at night. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do the rest of my night. I'm so fucking worried up about this fucking stupid topic. I can't even, I got to take a breath of how bad it was. Whew, I'm out of breath. You understand me? I'm out of breath, motherfucker. That's all I'm going to say on this. It's, it's all I got to say.